USA just released fully functioning female robots. Over the years, robots have turned into more than just science fiction portrayals and elements of entertainment in action movies. It is safe to say that we would not be able to enjoy many of our modern day conveniences without robotics and automation. America remains to be a forerunner of advancements in the robotic world, so let's take a look at the latest robot innovations across America. Human Cells Powered Robot Fish An artificial fish built from human heart cells could teach us how the organ functions. The human heart can pump without signals from the brain, a feature known as automaticity. This is coordinated using electrical signals and mechanical feedback within heart cell tissue, but the process isn't fully understood. Kit Parker at Harvard University and his colleagues built a biohybrid fish using plastic, gelatin, and a two-sided fin of human cardiac cells in order to better understand these automatic physical processes. The work follows previous projects at Parker's lab that built stingray and jellyfish-like biohybrids from heart cells. When people are trying to build human hearts for regenerative medicine, they only try to replicate the anatomy. But there are some biophysical principles that are very important in the heart, says Parker. By understanding the laws that regulate muscular pumps, we might be able to better treat heart disease, he says. When the fish was placed in a cell culture, one side of its tail contracted and then the other did, producing movement similar to that of species such as zebrafish that use their tail fin to swim. The biohybrid fish swam for 108 days, or 38 million beats, and had a greater swimming speed than a wild fish of a similar size. Aside from its mirroring of nature, the fish's movement has also shed light on functions of the heart. Scientists have long thought that when the human heart relaxes between beats, blood fills the ventricles passively, but the fish's fin contractions suggest it might be a more active process, says Parker. He and his colleagues also designed a type of pacemaker, the G node, to function like the timekeeping sinoatrial node in the human heart and spark the fin to regularly contract. It brings home how much of cardiac regulation happens autonomously at the level of the actual contractile structures, says Gotel. Parker says his team will now look at how the work can be used to build artificial hearts. We've taken away what we needed to learn and we're applying it to the study of pediatric heart disease and regenerative medicine, and we're moving on to the next biohybrid. U.S. Military to get armed dog-like robot The U.S. military may be getting a dog-like quadruped robot armed with a sniper rifle. The robot, developed by Ghost Robotics of Philadelphia, is a new version of its Vision series of legged robots. The U.S. Air Force is currently testing an unarmed version of these robots for use as perimeter security at the Tyndall Air Force Base in Florida. Ghost Robotics displayed the armed version at the annual meeting of the Association of the United States Army held in Washington, D.C. The robot is fitted with a special-purpose unmanned rifle pod from Sword Defense with a powerful 6.5mm sniper rifle. This has day and night cameras and an effective range of 1,200 meters. Ghost Robotics has been developing quadruped robots since 2015 and has previously displayed versions fitted with additions including arms for bomb disposal and a disruptor, a shotgun-like device for disabling bombs. The robots are highly mobile, able to cross rugged terrain that might be difficult for wheeled and tracked machines, and can operate with a high degree of autonomy. For example, the perimeter patrol robots are able to follow a preset route, deviating where necessary to avoid obstacles and alerting a human operator when they encounter something unexpected, such as a possible intruder. Flying Robot Can Ride Skateboard Researchers at Caltech have built a bipedal robot that combines walking with flying to create a new type of locomotion, making it exceptionally nimble and capable of complex movements. Part walking robot, part flying drone, the newly developed Leonardo, short for legs on board drone, or LEO for short, can walk a slackline, hop, and even ride a skateboard. Developed by a team at Caltech's Center for Autonomous Systems and Technologies, LEO is the first robot that uses multi-joint legs and propeller-based thrusters to achieve a fine degree of control over its balance. A paper about the LEO robot was published online earlier and was featured on the cover of Science Robotics. We drew inspiration from nature. Think about the way birds are able to flap and hop to navigate telephone lines, says Sun Ju Chung, corresponding author and Bren Professor of Aerospace and Control and Dynamical Systems. A complex yet intriguing behavior happens as birds move between walking and flying. We wanted to understand and learn from that. 
Bipedal robots are able to tackle complex real-world terrains by using the same sort of movements that humans use, like jumping or running or even climbing stairs, but they are stymied by rough terrain. Flying robots easily navigate rough terrain by simply avoiding the ground, but they face their own set of limitations – high energy consumption during flight and limited payload capacity. Robots with a multimodal locomotion ability are able to move through challenging environments more efficiently than traditional robots by appropriately switching between their available means of movement. In particular, LEO aims to bridge the gap between the two disparate domains of aerial and bipedal locomotion that are not typically intertwined in existing robotic systems, says Qnam Kim, postdoctoral researcher at Caltech and co-lead author of the Science Robotics paper. Tesla's AI humanoid, Optimus Tesla will branch out from building electric, self-driving cars to produce humanoid robots designed to eliminate dangerous, repetitive, boring tasks and respond to voice commands from their owners. The robot, referred to as Optimus by those inside the company, will be 173 centimeters tall and weigh 57 kilograms. Its body will be powered by 40 electromechanical actuators and its face will feature a screen display. Optimus will be able to carry a cargo of up to 20 kilograms and Tesla's CEO Elon Musk claims that a working prototype will be ready next year. Speaking at the company's AI Day event, designed to attract engineering and research talent to the company, Musk said that much of the technology in Tesla's self-driving cars is applicable to or useful in creating humanoid robots. Tesla is arguably the world's biggest robotics company because our cars are like semi-sentient robots on wheels, he said. It kind of makes sense to put that onto a humanoid form. We're also quite good at sensors and batteries and actuators. Musk said the machine will be limited to a walking speed of 8 km per hour and will be deliberately weak enough that most humans will be able to overpower it if needed. You never know, said Musk, who had suggested earlier in his presentation that artificial general intelligence, hypothetical AIs that could complete any task a human can perform, was the largest threat currently facing humanity. Snake-like robot could explore Saturn. A snake-like robot made of giant screws and flexible joints that can travel across hard or loose surfaces and worm into tiny spaces such as tubes and tunnels may be key to exploring the interior of Saturn's icy moon Enceladus. While wheels or legs can traverse flat ground more efficiently, snake-like robots have several advantages. They can conform to tight bends and their small cross-section allows them to fit through narrow spaces that would block other robot designs. Researchers in the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and the University of California, San Diego, have developed a snake-like robot that could facilitate such exploration of the interior of Saturn's icy moon Enceladus. The arc snake, parts of which were inspired by previous work on a device for colonoscopies, features flexible joints and uses Archimedes screws to propel itself, can move across hard or loose surfaces, and into tiny spaces. The Ark Snake is operated by a human controller by remotely manipulating a scale model of the robot. UC San Diego's Florian Richter said NASA wants to use the device on Enceladus to go down the plume vents and go through these ice caves and collect samples, and we'll feed data back to Earth and see what they find. That's all for this video folks, see you another time!